Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Casual Gamer A, and in this video, I'm going to try and show you where uh, the location of each item is. So, right here is where you get the Psy Spirit or the Wind Spirit. See on the map? This is where you get. Uh, obviously, I've I've completed the game now, so the the ability is not there. Right in this area of the map, you will get the Fire Spirit and you also get a knife weapon here so just remember where we are and you can get those those items there the third item in stage one is a bow i'll show you where it is i'll show you where it is guys okay this is the area where you get a bow so your very first bow will be here I'll timestamp it as well for you guys, so you can skip it to, to whichever item you want to get. Right, in this area is a secret weapon called Soul Crusher. We have to jump on the platform 50 times. So at first, it won't move. But once you hit near enough 50 times, It'll, it'll start shaking. Okay, here we go. We're close to 50. You can see the block is start is starting to move now. A few more times, and it'll go down. And this is where you get the the hidden weapon. Just above the hidden weapon, the the soul crusher weapon you'll get uh, another weapon in this area of the map called the Alimum Biden weapon you have to do you'll have to solve a little uh, bow and arrow puzzle here once you solve that you can you can get the you can get the item in this area we get the blue gate key and you get your very first magic which is the will wisp magic spell so once you unlock the blue gate key you can open blue doors and your very first magic Will Wisp cost 15 M MP. Next, we'll show you, I'll show you the uh, Matt's HP upgrade. Right in this room, this is where we get the HP upgrade, so it increases your HP. Again, you're going to have to solve a bit of a arrow arrow puzzle here to to get across something like that, and then you can get the you can get the max HP. Okay, on to the next one, guys. Right, okay. So with here, there's a hidden wall. You have to break the hidden wall, and then you can go to your right. And this will lead you to get uh, Udain magic. So right here, this, there will be a little crack here. You, you, can, you can hit it, and the, and the passage will open. Once it's open, use your bow to open up the gate. Very simple. And the magic spell will be here for you. In the same area of that hidden hidden wall, we just go up, there'll be a, a, a bow for you guys. Here. And you get your second bow. Okay, in this room, guys, you'll get um, a weapon. Again, another bow and arrow puzzle. Once you solve that, you get you get the you get the weapon. Yeah. In the top room above the halberd weapon, if you go there, solve the uh, bow and arrow puzzle, you get the sliding ability. And that is all for stage one. Let's move on to stage two, guys. Okay, so this is the position on the map that you should be able to get the zebra weapon. Green door. You shouldn't be able to get past that yet. And there, there should be a troll on the other side. So it doesn't matter. Just get the weapon and go, go to the next part. Okay. So the second item in stage two is the hat trick bow. 
So just past the saving point in this room, you you will find a bow. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be here. It's just gonna be here, guys. So just grab it and carry on with the story. Next one would be the MP MP upgrade. There's a hidden uh, breakable wall again. I actually haven't got this yet, so this is an MP upgrade. If we hit there, there you go. Opens up a new passage. Increases our MP. Right, next item. Okay, so the next item, item number four, is also hidden away by a uh, breakable wall. So on this area on the map, this area here, break down, break down that wall, to reveal a hidden hidden passage, and you'll get a uh, a new knife weapon here. In this little area here, you'll get the double jump. But be warned, guys, you're gonna have to fight a boss to get this ability. Yeah, but be careful. And in this room, you'll get the stone magic. But before you can get that, you're gonna need double jump because it's hit, it's uh, the platform is too high for you to, for normal jump. So you're gonna to need to defeat the a boss first to get a high jump. Right in this room, you'll find a weapon waiting for you, which is a sage's bow. Easy to get. It's just it'll just be waiting for you around, around up here. Right, this room will have the green gate key, and you also get a, a weapon here. The weapon will be hidden around here. So you just have to come up to this wall, walk up to it, and you should receive the weapon. Well, we've got the first item in stage two. Now that you can open green doors, if you go all the way through, you'll get a max HP upgrade here. Just here, we'll just be sitting here for you guys to grab. And in this room, you'll find a spirit upgrade. It'll just be here. Uh, to reach this, you have to double jump. And right here, we have to travel back to stage one. To access this area, we needed a double jump. So in the, once we got double jump, we can go here. And here we get um, the fire upgrade, the salamander spirit upgrade, make it more powerful. Right, in here, we'll get um, a weapon. Again, it's hidden away. I haven't got it, so we can get it together. Apparently, it's quite a good weapon in the early stages, so once you can get this weapon, do try. Again, it's hidden behind a wall. So if you're, once you're here on the map, you can see over here, there's a crack in the wall. Yeah, break it, and then we go. Keep going. Up. <clears throat> Iron Claws. Very good weapon early on. Definitely do get it. Right, just outside of the Iron, Iron Claws area, there's a red door. But once you have access through the red door, You can get another weapon. Shuriken. And if you drop down below and get those two weapons, we have MP upgrade. Always good to have ma increase our MPs. Magic is good for boss fights. <laughs> Okay, for the final piece of weapon in stage two, you're gonna to have to go through sta stage one to get to this area. Because I don't think, um, if I remember correctly, you don't have access to the red door. So, see where I am, 
try and go through stage one all the way here and then in, in the next area you go to stage two you'll get a uh, Qatar weapon so once you're here go through you'll be in stage two and a weapon will be waiting for you guys here right guys first item in stage three here you will find a boomerang but it's guarded by an enemy just to let you know so once you're in stage three go, make your way to here get your first boomerang weapon pretty decent weapon okay this area you're going to find mp mp upgrade here hidden away behind a wall here you got to jump up and there's gonna be a little, little bit of a crack on the wall here let's hit that and you'll be able to get your MP upgrade here. Okay guys, where we are, we'll get a new magic spell. It's pretty heat hidden away. It's covered up by your uh, UI. So once you get to this point, if I show you, top left hand corner, if you jump up here, you can jump up the ledge. Yeah, you can jump up the ledge and you get a new magic spell here. This is the invisibility magic. Okay, in this area of the map, we can get uh, Matt's HP upgrade. Breakable wall again, top right, top left hand corner, all the way at the top. HP up, I didn't get it, so bonus for me as well. Okay, stage four, first item. Max HP upgrade. To your left, breakable wall. Go through. You'll get a uh, max HP upgrade here. And in this room down here, once you get, once you got the first item, go here. You'll get a windstorm magic. So this is the windstorm magic, and it'll be waiting for you down here. Right, and here. Break through the wall and we'll get another weapon. It's going to be the Magician's Bow. Once you beat this Minotaur, you can get the, you can get the new weapon. Right guys, once you're in this area, you can actually get two items. To your right, breakable wall, you can get a, uh, a spirit upgrade. And down below from the, from the blades, you get the water breathing ability. So if you go through here, it's a scythe. If you go down below, it's a water breathing ability. Okay, in this room, you can get the mechanical bow. Uh, you can also get the mechanical sword. It's part, you, you'll find that anyway. You have to be a boss to get that, so you'll never, you won't be missing that. I can show you on the map where it's where it is it's there you 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 it's part of the storyline but this one is a mechanical bow in this room here is where you get the war scythe uh this is about the, i think the eighth item in in stage stage four so yeah go to this area i think uh you're gonna have to beat the boss to open the red doors if not you have to get it later on This is a part of the map, you can get a max HP, uh, not max HP, it's MP, sorry, max MP, breakable wall again, I haven't got it, so we're going to get it together, and it will increase your MP. Okay, so now we're on stage five. In this in this part of the map, you can get a uh, salamander spirit upgrade. Again, you're just gonna have to solve the solve the uh, bow and arrow puzzles first, and it'll be you'll be at the bottom waiting for you.
on this part of the map you're gonna have two items waiting for you so once you're here go down and there'll be two items waiting for you one is a magic sword and one's a homing bow very good weapons especially the homing bow targets enemies This area of the map, you'll find uh, a crimson mallet. That's a that's a weapon you can use. It's you you encounter it along the, along the way. And in this room, you will, you will find a max HP upgrade. Very useful these HP upgrades. Need them for bosses, and the MP upgrades for the bosses. Although I didn't get all of them. Right, let's go to the next one. Right, okay, the next ability is called the Windstorm ability. It makes you jump higher. I won't, I can't get that at the moment because it's blocking my access. Um, I won't spoil it for you. So basically, I'll, I'll show you on the map. You can get it there. You're going to have to do a boss fight first, basically. Okay? That's where you get the wind, Windstorm ability. Right, in this room. You're going to have to solve a bit of a, a bow and arrow puzzle with the blades and at the top you'll get a uh, spirit upgrade so yeah solve this and then you need to go to the right and then come up to get the, the, the ability yeah last item on stage five is the bow of life it's part of the story you won't be able to miss it Let's follow through the story and you'll get this one. This is the first item you'll get when you, once you get into stage 6. This is the opponent boat. So where I am here, we can show, undo, show the map. The bow would be around here. So yeah, you there's some tough enemies in this in this area, so you guys need to be careful. Right, in this room you get the Desperado sword. The room before that is gonna be a hassle. There's some tough enemies in that. There's some dragons and there's those manticores. So uh, be warned, you get you get the desperado sword here, and if I remember correctly, you get the 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 white door switch as well so you kind of do need to come to this room right once you've got the white door switch you can go into uh, go through the white door and then you end up in the purple area through here you get a dryad magic The lifeless kings, apparently, they can, they drop the best weapon in the game called vampire, but I haven't got it. Uh, I'm guessing the drop drop rate is really low. It's got the best stats apparently, so if you do want to farm for it, go after these lifeless kings. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this guide has been useful to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.